fuel cell technology has been around since the 50s or 60s. The te technology has been around a long time, and of course the space program depends on fuel cells to run all of their spacecraft. So you figure if NASA can get you know spacecraft you know using a fuel cell from here to Jupiter you should be able to use a fuel cell to get from here to the corner drug store here to the airport Ford Motor Company and they are basically running these and a test throughout the country there's 21 of these that are being tested in the United States and it's a three-year on-the-road test program then they'll spend two years evaluating the test computers got to come on and the chemical reaction has to be set it up set up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and you cannot run the car until this little dial goes up to run. There it is, so now it's ready to go. So now you just drive it like a normal car. Coming out of our tailpipe would be water vapor because that is basically the pollution. It's peppy. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, I got right to slow that. down for the BMW. BMW. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm not gonna go fast, but you can see how it, it goes very quickly. Yeah, so see, you know, 50 miles an hour and going uphill. And one thing you never feel is like those shift changes, you know, like the automatic transmission kicking in when you need that extra power. Um, that does not occur. So I turn the key off and it's going through the procedure where it's kind of shutting down the chemical reaction and shutting down the hydrogen and the voltage. And really, you don't pull the key out until the, um, the dial over there says off.